So the first thing is that buying across state lines also means that you get to sell across state lines. And think about the way in which cut what, what companies are motivated to do. These insurance companies are not motivated to cover people. They're motivated to make money. And think to the way in which, for example, when you introduce tax havens, how businesses all flee to tax havens. Uh, the reason they do that is because businesses follow the path of least resistance. So what my opponent wants you to think when he says more choice is that the insurance market will remain the same way it is now, where there'll just be great plans in all different areas. But actually what's going to happen is that businesses, now that they can sell to the entire country from a particularly friendly um, state, will just relocate all of their business to that state. So for what, what are they going to relocate, relocate based on? They'll relocate the states with the lowest minimum co coverage standards. They'll relocate the states with the lowest consumer protection laws. They'll relocate the states with the friendliest courts. Maybe they're stacked out with Republicans who are appointed by Trump, or maybe they've just got the best precedent law when, and have it, have it like a rec record of when there are consumer versus insurance conflicts of ruling in favour of the insurance company. That means that more choice doesn't exist in this debate because it assumes that the insurance offering market or the selling market will, will remain static, where obviously now that insurance companies can sell across state lines, it won't be, which means that consumers actually get less choice and they get worse um, 